why would Muslims want to eat this? This is suffering. No need of eating a dog, right? So you don't have to kill them. There's no need to eat a lamb either. They kill them in a big blender. Oh my. So how is milk halal when there's all of this suffering involved? That's a question. I know, I know. That's the right question. I'm showing people what happens to the animals in the UK, like in the farms and in the slaughterhouses. So most of the chickens here are factory farms. They often die on their faces before they even go to the slaughterhouse. See, they can't support their body weight because they, they grow really fast, really quickly. And this sells them in the shop? Yeah, yeah. Most of the chicken that people eat here come out of these factory farms. Oh. Yeah. This is turkeys. They're taking the semen from a male. Because the turkeys are so big now, they can't mate. So then they insert it into the female. That's how they, they breed them. Oh my goodness. I've been into heaps of these sheds myself. And they sell this also? Yeah. It's always like this. There's always dead out the front. Oh man, I'm not going to eat anything now. You're not going to eat no chicken? All animals, like a dog, has a different personality. Birds, they all have their own personality. They're all experiencing this suffering. Do you know uh, what a vegan is? A vegan? Uh, yeah. Who doesn't eat any meat of that? Yeah, and eggs and milk as well. Yeah, yeah, Because the, the egg layer hens, they do the same thing to the dairy cows they send to the slaughterhouse. They take their calves away so the calves don't drink the milk that the humans want. They kill the calves if they're a boy because the, the, the male calves won't produce milk so they don't need them. You know? This is the egg industry. Like the males don't lay eggs. So they separate the, the males out and then they, they kill them in a big blender. They kill them in a big blender? Oh my. It's called a macerator. Because they're useless to the egg industry if they don't lay eggs. And you can't use them for their meat because they're a different breed, different species. They're egg layers. So, uh, yeah, they cull them. Or they gas them to death. Are you a Muslim or? Muslim. What's your, you're a Muslim. Yeah. So the halal thing yeah, is, halal thing I know, do, yeah. this is another way they trick Muslims as well. Halal is just a label they use, but the halal chickens come out of these farms. Yeah, yeah, do. They don't have different farms for halal. It's just about the slaughter, yeah, slaughter. here in the UK. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think for the other things, they like slaughter the whole leg, but the, our way is we slaughter half of the leg because then the blood flows out of it. I know, and they, yeah. and Muslims believe that it makes them unconscious or they don't feel anything. Oh my goodness, man. This is the wool industry. So most of the wool that people wear comes from Australia. And this is a technique called mulesing. They're cutting their tail and the, the skin around their bottom so they don't develop a fly strike. But it's, it's torture. This is actually filmed in uh, the UK. This is shearing sheep in the UK. They're beating the animals. Yeah, it happens because they they get frustrated. They're working with a lot of animals and this just happens all the time. Have you witnessed halal slaughter? No. Oh, yeah, 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 I did. I what? did it with my own hands on the Eid. Oh, for, for so yeah, you goat, sacrifice goat. the animal yeah, for Eid. Was the goat comfortable with it? <laughs> the goat isn't, but it is, you know, the tradition started from like long, long ago. And like we do, we do not do it for ourselves. We do it for the community. When we slaughter the goat and stuff, we like uh, give the meat to the people and the area yeah. because people like in our country and stuff they don't have money to eat the meat and stuff. I so they are more. It's a charity. You said it's yeah, a sacrifice it's and a charity. A cha charity. Yeah. This is how they slaughter halal lamb here in the UK. Uh, uh, we don't do it like this. Uh, in our thing, what we do is we like uh, are like four or five people. We first take the hold the legs of the sheep and the hands of the sheep and then we like hold it from the face and we are advised to take a very sharp knife so we don't like make a mistake and like cut half of it and then again we like slice the goat no you have to take a like a very like sharp knife and then yeah. you do it in one thing okay. one slice and that's it i've seen yeah i have seen yeah. i've seen it yeah. yeah 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 you think it's good to do it's something because it's everybody... a good thing to do do you believe that's what i want to know uh, slaughter animals because you eat animals everybody like eat. Yeah, so when you eat an animal yeah you don't slaughter every animal you eat we don't when, when you go around and you eat meat and animals yeah, yeah like chicken and goat and, and, and lamb like you're probably getting your lamb from a slaughterhouse yeah that you haven't seen yeah, yeah in uk obviously yeah, yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's how that's how it happens yeah. here yeah so you can't be in control of everything that happens in slaughterhouses and farms you're just paying you don't even know really if it's been halal. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, cru that's cruel. You don't have to do that. They are like hitting the heads and... 
I mean, like, there are thousands of animals that they have to do in a day, but... Uh, it happens because of the, the number of people that want to eat meat. Yeah. And you can't get these little backyard slaughter farms that do everything right by the halal standard. It's just, it's just not possible to feed billions of people like that. How many Muslims are there on Earth? There are like a billion? Billions, yeah. There's a, probably a billion? A billion, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you think you're going to feed a billion Muslims all so humane, halal, backyard, like they didn't see no, another no, animal? No, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, uh, but you know, the thing is like, uh, first it is advised uh, to like give the meat to the relatives that are poor in your family. Mm. And then if you are capable of doing like many or other slaughter, many goats, then you like uh, take the goat and divide it among the community. Why do you have to give them the meat of an animal? Why can't you give them uh, because, plant food? You know, in UK, all right, fine. They have replacement for vegan things and, uh, and stuff. Yeah. But in country like third uh, world countries, in undeveloped countries, like in Pakistan, back in my homeland. So in that country, like meat is the elite of what a man can eat because they believe a meat is proteins and give you power and stuff and they don't have other like replacement for this food over there for like the normal people I'm saying because the high class obviously can the elite class can so it's have, a class thing yeah it's a class thing over there so yeah for the poor people like it's a tradition in once in a year the Eid al Azha that we have the next Eid that is coming so that is in our tradition and we do it for the most do you community. sacrifice an animal every Eid uh, every year on Eid yeah you do yeah I do myself how do you feel about it uh, I do quick and because it is promised that the animal, the goat, uh, is like, you know, for our own sake, there are like religious things in it and we believe and uh, because many people are eating goat over there. Okay. Like, the whole world is. Do you have to slaughter an animal on Eid to sacrifice or can you give in other ways, charity in other ways? Is there a requirement in your religion to do this? No, no. In like Eid al-Fitr, this Eid that we celebrated like days ago, we give Eid to the people, we give money to the people. That's good. Yeah. We give money to the people, money to our kids and people who are younger than us. We have to give them the money. There's ways to sacrifice without yeah. and killing an animal. Because right now when you go out yeah. and you have, for example, eggs and milk and yeah, cheese, yeah, yeah. you still eat that as a Muslim? Milk, milk and yeah. cheese eggs, and eggs? Milk, cheese, okay. yeah, these, are, these aren't halal certified, are they? Uh, the one that are halal, like no. cow milk is halal, isn't it? Yeah, but you, there's no halal standard for cow milk. It's just milk is halal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does yeah, yeah. Do that. Because yeah. you know there are sort of milks that we can have that is halal, like cow, goat. I get it. Uh, turkey, not okay. like. Okay. But what like I want. There is another animal we can't uh, have it. Like it's haram for us. I get you. I get you. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah. this is what happens in the dairy industry. They take the calves away from the mother. The mother is upset. They uh, they get uh, maternal trauma. So they separate the families here. So uh, this is suffering. I want to give you something to think about. So you pay me right. to do this to the cow. To yeah? sacrifice them. To, oh, to kill back. them for, well, just to say you give me money for milk and I do this to the cow, the milk industry. So I give you money You give for me money for milk, milk, but you're doing this I'm to doing this cow. to the cows, which is all haram. Yeah, that's it. So do you think you should be supporting that with your money? Because these people, you give them your money and they do this to the dairy cows, which is all haram in your they eyes. kill them? Well, they don't just kill them, they separate the calves, they kill the males really young. In the veal industry, they send all the dairy cows to the slaughterhouse um, and they don't kill them halal. Yeah, so how is milk? halal when there's all of this suffering involved? That's a question. I know, I know. That's the right question. Because I'm going to give answer to what I know, basically, because I don't know that much about the UK system, but because we own a farm back in our country, so I know more about it. So what we do is, before taking the milk out of the cow, a female cow, if they have children, first we, you know, untie them and let them go to the mother. And then they drink the mother's milk, and to a certain point, we let them drink the milk, and then we take them back and then we start our turn to fill the uh, you know the mugs and the uh, buckets and then when we fill them then we take them to the home and give them to our family and give them the milk okay so, that's a lot different because yeah. you're here now and you yeah, live yeah, here yeah. No, no no i'm like been living here as a student now as a student yeah okay student, okay yeah. okay i'm more concerned with but what i can see there is some purely and i don't agree to this you're yeah, right if you don't agree right. with that then here like when you cruise around why aren't you vegan 
Uh, here. Yeah. Because I didn't know about that before. Okay. Yeah. But would you? Here we since, go because yeah, this, yeah. I saw this video and this is quite bad. So as a Muslim, how can you always? How can you be sure that they are following the guidelines that you agree with? Uh, because uh, you know, as an international student, when we come over here, we don't like go into that because there are hundreds of billion of other things that are going. All we do is search for a halal or haram. That's it. I know. So I can put halal on a tortured dog body, tell you it's a halal lamb, and you won't know. Yeah, I won't know. So I know yeah, what yeah. happens in the industries here because I've been investigating and um, because looking I into it for a long time. One of my friends told me that there is some certified halal company over here that before having a tag in a, a shop or something where halal food is being served, you have to be like certified from them. So yeah. if so, now we have to look to the dad company. Like, what is it doing? Because you know we are just random people over here yeah so our opinion does matter that's obvious but yeah. uh, you can never trust that yeah, that halal that, that, is actually halal, halal. yeah that's you can't the point. Be because then if it isn't halal then that means they are like deceiving us as deceiving well. it yeah i mean and i understand yeah, that you I don't know because you're just you're just trusting the label i would argue this that the egg industry is haram the dairy industry is haram the meat industry is haram and the fishing industry Fishing isn't even covered by halal standards. You, you don't have halal certified fish. You buy some fish, mm -hmm. you don't have to look for a halal label, do you? Uh, fish is like halal for us, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no matter what. So I can yeah, get a fish, can... I can torture a fish for 20 minutes, and then I can chop that fish up and give it to you, and you won't even check if I tortured the fish. <laughs> Uh, because it, because you know why? Good. Because back when the hadiths were written, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, didn't, they didn't even consider fish feeling pain. So they drag them up out the ocean, they suffocate on each yeah. other, they're hooked in the face, there's no slaughter guidelines on boats, period. Yeah. The, most of the suffering on earth happens in the fishing industry. So, so why, why isn't there halal fish? Uh, halal fish basically because uh, I think... Can, I... You can you torture a fish? No, we cannot torture no, no, can No, I'm just asking you, is it possible for a fish to experience suffering? Can a fish feel pain? Every living thing does uh, feel pain, yeah, that's true. Anyone with a brain and the nerves, and, and fish have a brain and nerves, yeah? Yeah, they do, they do. Yeah, so what I'm asking is, why isn't that covered under halal certification? Uh, then the halal companies have to be like more into it and they need to be more working to it. Things have changed, things though. Have changed because, and, it's not, and in the Hadiths, you know, it's not mentioned. You know, one thing, one thing, I like to like explain a change to you. Okay. If you like buy meat for a thousand people, then there comes a point, then you have to look into it. Like thousand uh, animals at one time, how are they being sacrificed or how are they being treated? Because there comes a difference. If I am a buyer, I go to a butcher shop, he is doing in, in front of me, he doesn't torture it, he just sacrifices it, all right? And then he gives the meat to me, that's fine. But if you are taking the meat in thousand quantity, quantity matter, and then they, then they do this to the animals. Basically that's wrong because it's still a living animal. In my philosophy, I don't think it's right to kill an animal if it's needless. If I don't need to eat an animal, I don't do it. Yeah. And it's, it's completely halal to be vegan. Yeah, you can be vegan. You are not stopped. Yeah. So you have a choice. Yeah, you have a choice. You have a choice at the end of the day. It's your preference. Like, it isn't like said to us, you have to eat milk, you have to like drink milk and eat eggs. It is on you, what you eat. But it is given to us what we can eat and what we cannot eat. We cannot eat, eat cat and dogs. As you said, no need of eating a dog, right? So you don't have to kill them. There's no need to eat a lamb either. Uh, well, lamb meat is halal for us, so we do eat. <laughs> yeah, but there's no need to do it. <laughs> what? Do you have a choice? What's stronger, the an the lamb's preference to live or your preference to have a quick meal? Well, at the end of the day, they are going to die as well if we don't eat them. Yeah, <laughs> so well, maybe of old age, you're going to die anyway. I don't want to kill you and eat you. <laughs> you're going to die anyway. Oh, don't worry about that. She's going to die. She's going to die. <laughs> That's the thing. I would have like uh, argued with you if you said that we are going to live forever and we're not going to die. So well, your I'll physical like, form, your physical form yeah, is going to die yeah, I, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to say to them, like, if the animal doesn't die, why are you killing them? But when we know that we are allowed to this eat This is fish. Animal, this is like, fish. You know, 50% of the fish on Earth are factory farmed fish. And there's no slaughter guidelines, like I'm telling you. No, that, this that's is suffering. I can see they are hammering. No, this is, this is standard. On fishing boats, there's no slaughter guidelines at all. Why, why would Muslims want to eat this? This is suffering. 
but it's not covered. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes you have to look outside your religion and see, see inside of your your own heart and your own conscience. Uh, for fish, I don't know that much because we are not into fishes uh, that much, you know. But for goat and cow, you can. But uh, I don't know about this fish stuff because I need to know for it because I know why we like slaughter the animal because to get rid of the blood in them because uh, the nurse when they try to like breathe the blood comes out of the veins and the bad blood is all out of them and then we start the next process. Seems like a big process just to eat when you could just have yeah. some fruits or some uh, grains or some bread no, or some pump. like vegan food as well. We eat okay. fruits, vegetables, everything. Yeah. But meat is something that we cannot give easily. No, I, I, I want to, yeah. you keep saying we, it's we, hard. we. I want to know just about you. It isn't right to eat that meat because they are torturing the animals. That isn't the right way. Then you need to stop the authorities. You need to protest against them. What power do you have right now? Right now, I... Three times a day. I'll give you a, t a hint. Three times a day, what power do you have? Uh, what power I have? In the morning, you do something. At lunchtime, you do something. At dinner time, you do something. What power uh, do you have? In the morning, I prefer like milk and my regular, you know, stuff. So the dairy Bananas industry? and stuff. Uh, bananas good? Yeah. What, about, what about oat milk? Oat milk is good. And there's no cow? There's no, there's no suffering at lunchtime. What can you do? You can have vegan chicken. You know, you know. There's no bird, no factory farms. Yeah, you can yeah. be guaranteed that's allowed. But uh, does it have the same amount of power as? Yeah. The yeah, I mean, you can get just as much protein from plants as long as you're eating enough calories. You'll get enough protein. If you want more protein-rich plants, you'd go towards the beans and the legumes and the whole grains and much healthier for you. I know as a Muslim, it's good to be healthy. Yeah, um, we you know, because if uh, we're really supposed to be eating all this meat. Why would we get heart disease from it, you know? Yeah. And it is destroying the planet because uh, all of the, the crops that are grown are being fed to the animals and it's destroying the earth. If we were supposed to eat animals, God would have accounted for population growth. But it's destroying the earth, literally. We don't have enough plant food for us because we're feeding all the plants well, to the animals. One message that I have for the people. Yeah. One real message. Yeah. You have to look before you eat something. Like, go into the depth of the thing because here what I see, like, the man said that in UK, this is being done in UK. Like, the animals are being tortured in a bad way. And you don't even have the guarantee if they are being uh, sacrificed halal or not haram. They, we are just seeing the tags. Well, they're just that, marketing to you as a customer. Yeah, So they're yeah. going to sell you yeah, this. Yeah, because we are not going to buy any haram chicken it's over there. If you know yeah. about it. Because uh, we can have haram uh, chicken or haram thing to eat in a way when that is the only last thing for your survival. If you don't have any other thing on left, then you can eat that well, for your own survival. Well, that's interesting because... Yeah. Uh, you cannot you, eat, yeah. because if you are dying, then you can do anything, right? I get you. I understand. Yeah. As a vegan, I would agree with you. Yeah. I would agree with you. Like if you're in a, about to die, then morals yeah. go out the window. Yeah, yeah. That's true, that's but right now, you have many choices to make. Yeah, right know? now. When you have choices, then, it, then it, it is up to you that you have to look at what is right and what is wrong. And now you know the truth? Yeah. Now I know the truth that they are being tortured before they are being sacrificed. So that's something wrong. And now you can never guarantee what's behind the label. I personally yes. think you can be a Muslim and not even eat proper halal animals as well because that because you, that's a choice that is basically up to us then that's up to because, your... uh, when you are capable of knowing that either you are eating haram or halal because all we trust is the halal jack that's it what if you uh, have there is some haram chicken in that store and they just label blood of course they Somebody do or it's a secret on it. Of course they do. When you're going to eat haram chicken? They do the same thing to non-Muslims with um, free range and organic and all of these labels as well. Yeah. That's and people go, oh yeah, this is all high welfare. They do the same thing to non-Muslims. But with Muslims, it's halal. It's just put a halal sticker on it. It's all good. You have to look before what you eat. You just have to look now because that's something wrong. Or you can be a vegan and don't worry about it. And, yeah, and it's always halal except for alcohol is vegan. So steer away from the alcohol. And Because one thing, one thing. Let, let me be true with you. Okay. I cannot promise you to, uh, to be after seeing it to be a vegan or something like okay. that but one thing I can assure you is that what we eat we can look into it that the animal isn't being tortured or stuff look look at that man. and when you look into it like we I do for my this is what I do as a job uh, yeah, yeah investigate expose when you do look into it you'll find uh, something that quite shocking actually here in the UK that uh, yeah I do I do agree with you why you why you standing here unless this go go to a halal slaughterhouse and ask him, hey, you know, I'm Muslim, I, I want to see what, what happens here. Show me the footage. They will say, get out of here. Get out of here. We can leave a secret camera. 
and then show you. That's how you know the truth. Well, you have got a lot of videos and stuff, so. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing investigators. That is quite hurtful to see as well. Yeah. That isn't right. Yeah. This here is the best app. Vegan restaurant nearby, use this app. You can find anything you want. But if you want to see what goes on and learn, land of hope and glory, it's really good talking to you, my brother. All right. Take Thank care. Thank you so much. No worries.